Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Network cancels Roseanne reruns, but continues airing serial abuser and accused rapist sitcom. Paramount Network and other cable networks have pulled all Roseanne Barr reruns from their lineups after ABC canceled her show following a tweet Barr wrote likening former Obama aide Valerie Jarrett an ape. However, these hypocritical liberal networks are still airing their fair share of disturbing shows, and no one is calling them out. For example, Paramount Network is proudly airing the sitcom, Two and a Half Men starring serial abuser and accused child rapist Charlie Sheen. Some history on vile Charlie Sheen's abusive past, which is apparently A-OK -okay with Paramount Network. From Daily Beast with every day bringing new and more salacious allegations against Hollywood elite, and celebrity Twitter profiles going dark, private or disappearing entirely, there is one accused man who seems to survive no matter what. This is what he has always done. Because he is Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen is on a drug called Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen doesn't answer to consequences the way the rest of us do. No, instead, it's fodder for a Comedy Central roast. It's an opportunity for a new FX series. It's prime real estate on TMZ.com. Perhaps it's time America just gave up and admitted it, Charlie Sheen is our nation's crazy, self-destructive, sometimes violent clown. Now, as a tabloid report in the National Enquirer emerges accusing him of raping the deceased actor Corey Heim three decades ago, it's a reprehensible allegation, to be sure, and one vehemently denied by the actor, but it's not a career-ending one. Because nothing seems to be for Charlie Sheen. It's kind of like OJ. He gets away with murder, theorizes one of Charlie's former lovers, Casey Jordan, who became notorious in 2011 for telling her story of a raucous cook Phil Dorji right before he became very ill and then went on a celebrity breakdown tour with interviews in a nationwide traveling roadshow. Charlie gets away with, you know, being the party boy and whatnot of Hollywood. I think that just somewhat falls in the line that it makes it okay when it's probably in fact, of course, not. After emailing Charlie Sheen's agent to discuss his long and documented history of violence and violent threats, along with a new tabloid accusation, the law firm of Bernard & Bernard reached out to provide a defense of their new client and an explanation that he has in fact paid the price for his past sins and is no longer the man he once was. As one of the most famous A-listers represented by notorious Hollywood pit bull lawyer Martin Singer, Sheen once said of Singer, Marty Singer might be the only person who's fucked more people in Hollywood than I have. Sheen's transition to another law firm is surprising. After the tabloid report emerged last week about Sheen and Haim, a categorical denial was issued from a Charlie Sheen representative, which lawyer Shane Bernard said did not come from their office. I learned that the respondent was accessing gay pornography sites which I found even more disturbing because I felt that the boys looked underage. Denise Richards on Charlie Sheen What actually happened was somebody made an initial statement, Shane Bernard said by telephone. We actually have no idea who that was. I work with Charlie, his finance guy, with his whole crew, and we don't know. I haven't been able to figure out. Charlie has no idea. His finance manager has no idea. So we're all in the dark about it. Does Marty Singer not represent Sheen anymore? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.